Hey guys, Delightful Dave here, uh, talking to you again from a bedroom in my house. Today we're going to be doing some reviews on a particular product here. Not this one, this is just your standard dog dish. I don't know if you're familiar with us, but we do happen to have two big dogs that have a real issue with eating way too quickly. They are not free fed dogs by any means because they'd be about 600 pounds. Right, so we're actually going to be talking about this bowl versus this bowl. Now this bowl we've had for about three months now, which is fantastic. You can see that my dog has tried ridiculously to chew to try to get the food a lot faster. Now this is actually very well made. Um, it does say on the bottom to do not microwave. Top rack dishwasher safe, which is awesome in case you want to wash your dog bowl with your regular dishes. Uh, if it's my dog, it's probably not, which we'll talk about that in a little bit here because this thing does have one small drawback that I'm not super stoked about. Uh, but does it really work? I mean, that's, that's the real question. Does spending about 10, 11 bucks on a dog bowl, and this is some pretty good quality, it's like these little rubber feet down the bottom here. It's a pretty good quality. He's tried to tip this thing over a few hundred times now. Now this would be my personal favorite as we've tried other dog bowls in the past and they don't work as well as this one does. So we'll actually have a link in the description for Amazon so you guys can check it out, get one for yourself, post a review of how much you love it because I know you're going to. So we actually really like this. We have two rescue dogs that we'll talk about here eventually. They're fantastic but one of them, the Black Lab, he has a very deep love of food. And I think he had a lot of issues before we got him with, you know, maybe not having food because he hoards it. Maybe that's just a lab thing. I'm not sure. I'm no expert. But what I can tell you is this does work. So it's supposed to reduce bloat. It's um, supposed to, you know, stop them from eating so quickly, which is another big thing because if I put a cup of food in this bowl, he's going to have that gone in about a minute less than that like 20 seconds so and a, and a cup of food this is a cup of food in a fancy glass because we only have certain clear cupware courtesy of red lobster but uh they're not sponsored but they should right should sponsor videos but i mean this is a, this is a cup of food that is that is one cup of food in a dog dish 20 seconds i've and we'll time it later because we're going to have our dog eat both so you guys can actually see the difference. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated, right? Because he can't get his nose in there in every which different direction. Now, this is, happens to be a large size. So get one for your dog. If you've got a little teacup, your chair, terrier, you know, you're not going to want one this big because they'll never get their nose in there, right? I mean, let's go into like my second set of, and my knuckles or whatever, whatever, you know, these things, fingers. So, um, but same cup of food. So we just take it, we spread the whole thing out here. And it, you know, it actually makes mealtime a lot more fun. It, it definitely slows them down, but it makes mealtime more entertaining for them, right? Because they actually have to try to get their food. And I got one dog around here who's getting all excited about eating food, as he typically does. But uh, this is Max over here. I don't know if he's in the shot or not, but that's Max. So. And this is dog food in a bowl, but the real question, does it work? I clicked on your video because I wanted to know whether or not it works. It does work, but we'll, we'll show you. We'll, we'll, put, uh, we'll put our money where our mouth is. So we've been using it for a long time. We've got two of them. They have a lot of different kinds online. They've got like purple ones or different like fun play feeders, right? Like this dog right here, he's very, uh, very, uh, intelligent so he likes to have a challenge right so we used to have a toy where we put a ball inside of like a plastic ring thing and he would spend a few hours trying to get that ball out until he eventually did he likes puzzles right so this is a good thing for him as well keeps him entertained keeps him you know nice and slow here but there's food here i know and we're not giving it to you so I believe Outward Hound makes this. That's where we got ours. But like I said, there's a link down in the description below uh, where we'll have a lot of the information on where to get this in particular uh, on Amazon because Amazon's super reputable and nobody beats Amazon. So <laughs> Jeff Bezos is not paying me to say that. So 
Uh, but I think it's uh, I think it's about time that we we show you how it works. All right, guys, we're gonna be setting the timer here just so you guys know. It's a real working timer because it's you know on my phone and I'm not a moron. But... Timer's gonna start right when we get them to the dish. Ready? Set? Go. Look at him go. He just swung a hole there. It's been a long time since he's had this dish. Thirty seconds in. What's wrong? I guess 20 seconds. It's not 20 seconds. That's time. 46.54. He ate that entire thing and right around 45 seconds. 46.54 seconds. All right, well, considering that he licked pretty much every single crumb out of that bowl in about 45 seconds, we can assume that that is not a good way to feed a dog anything, right? If he's scarfing it down that quickly, you imagine, that food's hitting from his stomach like that. Like, it's, it's not like little bit by little bit. Like, he's taking big mouthfuls. You can hear him, like, half choking on the food as he's eating it. Like, that's a dangerous situation for any dog. Like, it's just how he is. All right, and I'm sure there's gonna be that commenter on there, well, you could train your dog out of it. I'd love to see you try. <laughs> we have done everything in our power with that dog to try to get him to slow down and enjoy himself. And, you know, like, when we eat a meal, I mean, think about when you go to McDonald's, right? You just say for the sake of anything, you get a McChicken. I challenge you to eat a whole McChicken in under 45 seconds. You might want to think about other options. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to think about other options. <laughs> can't put that crap in the video. No David in motion. I'm setting my timer. <laughs> she wants me to let you know that I'm not just sitting here texting. I'm actually resetting my timer from yesterday. Back to it being 0 0.0000000. I don't think it goes that far. Same timer as before. We'll see how it goes. And maybe you guys want to time it yourselves. There's a whole little tiny thing in the bottom there. Let's see that red bar. You know, you could just see where it goes.
Obviously, this bull did a lot better. I mean, we knew that going into the video, right? But who doesn't want to watch a cute dog eat food? Everybody wants to do that. So, it's not a kitten, but... So, generally, his rule of thumb, what he tries to do is he tries to push the food to a location that's easier for him to get to. So, you'll notice that there's this open spot right here where I'm putting my fingers in. It's all slobbery and gross. Um, he generally usually pushes a lot of the food at that location because it's a lot easier for him to get, right? So the further into the dish here, the more difficult it is for him to get to it. So, I mean, this thing's full of slobber. It's, it's pretty much had its, had its day. So um, the one thing that I will say about this and the one negative that I have would be You'll notice that there's a lot of crumbs in the bottom of it still. And this is, we washed this thing before shooting the video to make it look pretty. But now it's nice and clean. Um, it's, well, not really. So if you don't wash this thing periodically or you know, maybe like once a week or so, it starts to get a little bit nasty. So, and I'm not saying we're lazy, but sometimes it gets a little bit nasty for no good reason. So, uh, but it's, it's a good dish. Like I. I rate this on a scale of one to 10, which we'll start doing on our videos here. Uh, I would say the value side of things, I give it a 10. For 11 bucks, you, know, you, you really can't go wrong. So at least that's how much it was when we bought it. If you're watching this thing 20 years from now, and you're like, why is it at $11? Inflation, all right? <laughs> That'd be a whole nother video, right? Now, on the actual uh, value of the product, or the, or the construction of the product, we'll say, We'll do that. I'm gonna actually give this a nine. All right, I'm not a big fan of this plastic phrase up top here, but keep in mind he's a chewer, and this is mostly from him trying to tip this bowl over and slowly figuring out over the course of three months that it's just not possible to do. Um, it is made in China. It is dishwasher safe. Um, you cannot microwave it. It is not microwave safe. Why you'd be microwaving this is beyond me. Don't feed. Don't use this to feed your children. Uh, toddlers, I don't know if that works to slow them down. I think that'd be a great video, uh, watching toddlers, you know, see if that slows toddlers down too, if it's just dogs. So, um, but uh, to, I would give this on a scale of one to 10. My final score for this thing is gonna be about a nine out of 10, right? Which is very high on my scale. Not very many things get tens at all. I don't even get a 10. But that's it for Delightful Dave. Don't forget to hit that likes button and, the, is it the likes button? Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. So I think last we looked, we had like 20 subscribers. So link in the description, all about this. It's gonna be on Amazon. Uh, it's, that's where they sell, where we bought ours. It's a very reputable uh, dealer on Amazon that we buy it from. So um, I prefer going there because they have the lowest price on everything. So. So click that link down at the bottom there. Go ahead and purchase one. Let me know what you think, because that's very important to me too. All right, on a scale of one to 10, let me know down in the comments. Maybe you've got something else that we need to review. Maybe there's a whole product that we haven't even looked at. Let us know down in the comments. We'll review just about anything, except Jared. We won't review Jared. Dog bull! <laughs>